from The Observer, January 6, 2014, uh, in UFC news. Anderson Silva, perhaps the greatest MMA fighter of all time, was carried from the octagon on a stretcher after suffering a compound fracture of his lower leg via losing uh, se- in a second round stoppage for the second time to Chris Weidman. He suffered a broken tibia and fibula slightly above the ankle when Weidman checked a low kick, essentially using his knee to block the kick. Do you guys remember this? Did you guys watch UFC? Oh, yeah. This, this is like the nastiest shit ever. It yeah. is. It is unbelievably I'm gross. sure I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, and I they replay it a hundred times. <laughs> it, is awful. it is. Uh, it is. No, th- I've seen it. I've seen it. I just clicked on it. I see the thumbnail. I'm like, no way I'm watching it this. Is, he, it like, he, it, oh. it snaps and then he like stands on it. <laughs> it's it one of the nastiest wild. shits I've ever seen. In my Why'd video. I click on that? God. It is. It is brutal. I just wanted to. I don't even have to look at it. I remember it like it's one of the. That's one of the injuries in UFC that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. I don't think. I I remember the feeling it gave me as I watched it live. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that now. Ugh. We'll talk obviously more about AJ leaving TNA here, but I I guess in my mind I thought it was way like I thought AJ leaving like everyone knew why, and it was just this was it, and then he was gone. But there's still impressions that he's going to resign here. Yeah, there was like a lot of nobody really knew what was going on. Which, he, did yeah. he work dates unsigned too? I think. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, because he was because I think this was an unsigned date too. Was this like it might have been? On a, yeah, on a I handshake think, deal here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, but uh, speaking of indie stuff, I forgot that uh, he actually wrestled Jason Strife at Magnum Pro on the 18th of January, which is kind of crazy. Crazy <laughs> graphic. Dude, yeah, this graphic is nuts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wrestles. I don't know if it's Cage of Death, but he he comes in and wrestles like Drew Gulak in CZW when he's CZW he does, champion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think Kimberly takes a style <laughs> <laughs> One thing I put here just because uh, I thought it was interesting with the timing of certain events these days. Uh, CM Punk got people talking on Twitter when somebody complimented him on a good match. He said, "I don't know how many of these I have left in me." Punk has talked about retiring young from wrestling. A number of people. Have I noted thought this that Punk was now. Bucks. This I is thought, 2014. I thought it was him, him after him and Jack Perry had a little fight back there. Like, All right, more times I gotta beat these guys up. <laughs> Twitter doesn't I, like punk. That's weird. I didn't push Bobby Roode. Cry me a river. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you piece of shit. <laughs> He's pushing through people and saying, "Give me Jack Perry. Where's Jack Perry?" <laughs> He's got a light tube. I'll show you. <laughs> I wrestled Justice Payne. <laughs> Dude, that would be awesome. Wow. Uh, yeah, so a number a number of people noted that Punk talks of leaving when he gets frustrated, but that feeling is he won't, at least now. It's very interesting how some things just never change. Here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You take, take, take me to the son of a bitch. <laughs> Jack, Jack Perry just talked shit about you on TV. Take, take me, me to the son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> In TNA news. <laughs> All right, it's time to get into TNA Impact Wrestling. Is there any song for this? There's no intro. Tony doesn't there. even get to say TNA. <laughs> yeah, you're TNA, right. Damn. We, Impact Wrestling. <laughs> was there an intro? I don't no, think there nothing. was. Uh, there was a cold open, but no intro. I don't That's think. it. Yeah. Yeah. So cold open, the very first fucking thing when you start this episode up, <laughs> you hear... Dixieland is a place where <laughs> dreams always come true. I think we watched that match for Patreon. I'm pretty fucking sure we, we did. did. We did watch it. Yeah. You have to yeah, take the so. ladder up to the ramp and then hang the belt up. You have to take the, <laughs> On the, you have to take the championship down in the ring. That's then right. Take the ladder to the stage and then hang the championship back up and then you take it back down. And this was Magnus versus Jeff Hardy. Yeah. So, and there Jeff was Hardy, multiple ones of these. There was multiple Dixieland matches, wasn't there? There's more than one. Well, this one? was the first one they ever did. Yeah, this is the first, yeah. I'm sure they huh. did it tongue-in-cheek later on, I imagine. Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, Jeff Hardy takes a gnarly bump off the ladder on the stage and dies on the ramp. <laughs> because Dixie has her new stable. Planet the, Dixie. Yeah, I was going to say, what is this called? <laughs> Dixieland, <laughs> that's the name of the stadium. Yeah, it is called uh, Dixieland. Oh, sure, okay. Uh, which, of Jared. course, yeah, no, he's in GFW. We can't Damn talk about it. him anymore. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So, Planet Dixie is EC3, <laughs> Rockstar Spud, Magnus, right, and Dixie Carter. Brutus uh, Magnus and, or Nick Aldis, whichever you want to call him. Yeah, and call him all the want. heels on the show. Anyone that's a heel is also a bad influence, with, apparently. Yeah. There, well, you'll, well you'll see the litany of them later, Tony. Yeah. And we're just setting the stage of where we're at in this episode. 
fucking Dixie Carter is the main character on TV right now. She is the focal point of the entire company is around Dixie Carter. And the feud right now is that AJ Styles won the real TNA world title at Bound for Glory. Yes. And he went away. He got in his fucking convertible and left (laughs) with the belt. (laughs) His big convertible seats. Never came back. (laughs) And then they won. And then that's why they had the Dixieland match. And Magnus won the vacated title. And then AJ Styles said, I don't fucking think so. He came back and said, I'm the real world champion and spray painted an AJ on the title. (laughs) And then he started looking for Jack Perry. He was talking Jimmy shit. Sorensen. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to take food of my family. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Dixieland, AJ Styles, and Magnus. Tonight, we have a TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Who is the real champion match? Yes. AJ and Magnus. For AJ some reason, and I remember them having a match where Magnus like respected AJ enough to not have a bunch of bullshit happen. Okay. I'll tell you right now, that's not the match that we watched tonight. It is the complete no. opposite. <laughs> I must have dreamed that one up. I don't know. Yeah, you were hoping for a better time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, whatever I had in mind was never going to happen here. Oh, my God. If that's what you thought you were getting here, you must have been I, brain I, I, I did, yeah. When we got to the actual main, I was like, wait a minute. I actually write down my thoughts in real time as it's oh, that's happening. Awesome. Okay, yeah, cool, so we'll get cool, to cool, it cool. tonight. Um, but first off, we have to kick off Impact with a... Dixie Carter Town Hall. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Deep inside of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She sings her song, I think. It, it was well, Surge fucking probably Surge. produced it. Wake up. So I ma- <laughs> imagine so. Yeah, yeah so. It, it is. It's Impact Wrestling featuring Dixie Carter. Yeah, yeah she, she sings, sings these boots song. are made for walking. No, come <laughs> on. That's, that's for the go <laughs> only, oh, that's Tony. Come on, that's now. the go <laughs> only. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> Don't you. Why are you singing my song, brother? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dixie Carter Town Hall. Dixie has a contract one night only. AJ Styles can return to TNA. Him and Magnus will have a match to unify the world champions and figure out who the right. real world champion is. Dixie says, I'm not going to waste one more ounce of my precious breath talking about you, AJ. Then she talks about AJ and two AJ for the next 15 <laughs> minutes. Well, that's understandable because the whole show revolves around AJ Styles. So AJ actually comes out here. Yeah, he does. My evil ways. Get ready to fly. Yeah, he's turned back into the phenomenal one, which uh, was a pretty big turn in huge. TNA at the time. It was huge. It paid yeah, off it the awesome. big evil ways thing because they said, we need AJ as a face again, please. I need the old AJ style. <laughs> he said, okay. Of course, he, he, <laughs> he had to do it to defeat the evil team of, who was it? The main Aces event mafia. Aces right? Aces and A's. That's what it was. Yeah, the main yeah. event mafia were the good guys this time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And oh, AJ, wow. <laughs> AJ has kept the leather jacket hoodie combo here, which is based Good look. Uh, we've talked about it on the show, but it was like a hundred episodes ago. I was there when he turned back to phenomenal. One. Yes, I, I do remember you saying that. Yeah. That is, I remember watching that and how cool that moment was because like everyone wanted it, and it yeah, happened. dude, it was they gave sweet. it to us. Yeah, and Brooke Tessmacher was there. And oh, and the gif. <laughs> she you saw. shook her ass crazy. And I said, golly. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Legend, two legendary moments in time that you were there for. And I, that's good, bro. Dude, it was like the only legendary moments in TNA at that time. 2014. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was seeing both. <laughs> the only thing people remember from this era. <laughs> yeah, that is fucking crazy. Well, what about me, dude? Oh, well, brother, you're not here anymore, dude. So get your oh, ass out right, of here. Brother. Oh, sorry, brother. You're a jabroni, brother. <laughs> so AJ comes out here and he goes to talk and Dixie says, no, 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 no words. Just fucking sign it. Yeah, sign this shit right now. Your lawyers have fucking looked at this. The, the contract's one night only for one match. Let's goddamn go. And then she looks off to the distance, very confused, like she forgot her line. And then looks back at AJ and says, and winner takes all. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the teleprompter. And I apologize for that. Line. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Dixie says she's giving a lot to AJ and Magnus because she doesn't even want to do this fucking match. No way. And she says, since I'm doing so much for you guys, you guys are going to do something for me. And that is, I'm going to make it a no disqualification match. Holy shit. Yeah, she says, uh, I will never, I won't rest until I never see your face again. Uh, and when I conjure up that beautiful moment of our last time together, I want you to be bloodied, bruised, and carried out on a stretcher from my ring. Sign the contract. Well, AJ Styles says, well, you have a lot of confidence in that paper champion. But, <laughs> He's you know, a <laughs> you had a lot of confidence in the champion that I beat at Bound for Glory, too. <laughs> 
And AJ says, well, if you think your cronies are going to run down to the ring, let me tell you something. The boys in the back hate you as much as I do. I got some friends. <laughs> Stacey says, I gave you everything. Did the sign boys your- sign your check? Yeah. Well, what? Sh- first, I don't even... Let- Let's not fucking start talking about checks here at TNA. Let's that's probably one thing we should never bring up on TNA is checks. Don't you talk about my fucking money? Did they put food on your family? <laughs> <laughs> your little wife, your little mini me redneck kids. Holy shit. This is crazy. They both have crazy accents, by the way. They do, and they're going to town on each other here. And uh, he says, because I, I own them. I made you, and in the end, AJ, I can't wait to break you. And AJ says, You break me. Dixie Carter breaks AJ Styles. How? Same way you bre- broke Jeff Hardy. These people don't know you don't get it. You don't get wrestling. And the crowd chants, you don't get it. You don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then AJ says, uh, this belt got respect when I took it away from you. And Dixie, off microphone, like rolls her eyes and says, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit that's real shit man let him know that's crazy uh, AJ says that if Magnus would get his head from under her skirt he would get it too holy shit what's under there well Magnus' music obviously because it hits <laughs> immediately <Damn> it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe get your music out from under her skirt <laughs> Magnus comes to the ring and then cuts the most I am a wrestler ass promo I've ever heard in my life <laughs> Shockingly, this is all he ever does. <laughs> <laughs> Magnus comes to the ring and tells Dixie to leave the ring. She hesitates, but eventually she does it. And Magnus says, tonight, we will wrestle. And tonight, I will win. <laughs> oh, your, time, your time here is up, bruv. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder why this Magnus is top champ thing never worked here. I don't, I don't understand. Dude, oh, come on. He's always been a great top champ. Don't <laughs> <laughs> worry. They got, they got EC3 to follow in his footsteps because that That's actually true. happens. And it's happened, it still happens today. You can say that for many won. years, Tony. Yes, it's you're right. right now. <laughs> Dude, do you ever hear the beef of Magnus EC3? I think they like hate each other. No, like, wait, uh, what? Why? I swear Magnus was telling the story. I don't remember where I saw it back in the day. I probably yeah. don't know it for verbatim I'll, but take, like, I'll listen to it regardless basically <laughs> ec3 Richard. like bribed dixie carter like gave her gifts and stuff and then she like started to like him and then he magnus they, po- no 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 ec3 gave oh. dixie gifts and oh. then she kind of like pushed magnus to the side and was like more in favor of ec3 and then that's why he won the belt after that holy shit this yeah, is sorry, a kayfabe that's sorry, real that's called an angle <laughs> No, 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 not I saw on, it on TV. The show. <laughs> not on television, bro. Uh, sorry, sorry, I thought I it was on TV. Oh, okay. Dude, they did that camera where they snuck around the corner. And I saw it. Dude, this peekaboo camera, and then Dixie was talking to EC3, and he had gifts Fuck. for her. That's fucked up, Tony. I saw it. <laughs> It really happened, okay? I believe, Tony, I'm with you, bro. I promise I'm with you. Why fuck me, James, huh? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's just trying to help. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't no, get yeah, it. But I, but I think Magnus... I think I... Was I watching a Magnus shoot video? Fuck, why was I doing that? I was watching a TNA digital exclusive. I was watching a bunch of SmackDown. I was watching Behind the Impact. No! No! No more no, Behind the Impact. TNA, I was watching Reaction. That's what it was. That's what I saw. Oh, it's an explosion. Crazy. In Japan. Tony, that was good. GF I like what Global it. Force Gold. I was watching I that. I believe you, yeah. bro. All right, no, so I, no, I swear no, Magnus I, said that. Though, yeah, and, uh, yeah, no. yeah. Well, Magnus didn't know it's work either. So <laughs> <laughs> Magnus didn't understand the the heel getting a comeuppance and losing. He just didn't understand that part. So Magnus oh, okay. leaves, and yes. AJ says that he didn't take the shortcut like Magnus. It took eleven years of blood, sweat, and tears. Which I'm guessing that AJ also forgot that Magnus has been here for a while too. Magnus <laughs> <laughs> has been here for a while. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and AJ says that he will walk out tonight of TNA with honor, ring, and of. <laughs> <laughs> and then AJ says, uh, "I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave with the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And what's Dixie Carter gonna do then?" Why don't you take your lips off her pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why you say it like that? <laughs> it had to be pussy. It not have to be pussy. Tony's always right. <laughs> they wouldn't bleep. I saw it on Beyond the Impact before the Impact. No, Sorry. Not Beyond the Impact. <laughs> <laughs> 
take your lips off her ass. <laughs> yeah, ass. Yeah, I thought okay, it was maybe. ass or pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Pussy would be nuts. Pussy is right. Though. Pussy would be fucking crazy. He probably said Take your down. lips <laughs> off her fucking <laughs> uvular. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ask her a question for once in a while? She spells accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's also Murph's accent. For some That's also Taz. <laughs> and Taz. Taz. She, she Murph's quit. and AJ Styles have a conversation. <laughs> Would be fucking awesome. Did you quit eating her ass, you weirdo? Did you ask her a question for once in a while? Why don't you take your lips off her toilet and ask her? So it hits his music immediately and. Holy shit. I guess the question all the fans had for Magnus are, how's your lips? <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> You've only been here for 10 years. I've been yeah, here for 11. What are you doing fuck here, bro? You, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck you, man. I don't... I think it's very interesting that they have a cage match on Genesis and then fucking nine of them tonight. I like TNA's cage, too. It's always cool looking. Yeah, it is cool. I like it with the door. I remember Sam Shaw dragged Christy and he said, give, that me, is, give me your no, ass no, now. Also. Dude, I, I remember that and I also remember him at the beginning of that match threatening to jump off of it and die. Dude, that was... <laughs> Sam Shaw was a highlight of TNA at the time. Dude, that Sam Shaw road was crazy. It was Stand awesome. Sam, my room, my room. <laughs> Dude, and they had an awesome music video. And that was also fucking Ken Anderson, was it? With him, yeah, that was Kenny. That, that was huge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that, they had a great fucking video for that. I love that angle. Ken Anderson's like a utility guy because he could talk his way into any feud. Yeah, and then, like the match happens. <laughs> You're right, dude. Ken Anderson, and LA yeah. is the same dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, but yeah, we go backstage. Dixie tells Gail Kim, who is yes. standing beside DNA Hall of Famer <laughs> and legend. <laughs> Lady Tapa. <laughs> I, I like, I, dude. I was so taken back. Like, I, I think I scared Deb from how, like, fuck. I was like, I know who this fucking is. I know, I know who this is. It's and I crazy. Let me figure out her name, but yeah, Lady Tapa. She doesn't say her name here. Gail no. just kind of looks at her and and Dixie you're says, "You're supposed you, to know. You know, what you're supposed to do tonight. It's very important. You guys do this. We don't know what they're doing. We assume it's something bad." Um, Lady Tapa was someone that they brought in and they thought maybe like she would get better under the system. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, she does not. Yeah. It, she's I mean, only there for a year, maybe. Yeah. And, and it was one of those time periods, too, where you, you look at especially WWE as things are starting to ramp up on their side of signing indie guys. And you really just got to question what the fuck is happening? Like, how is yeah. this happening? Sort it's, deal, you know? I mean, I, 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 can you remember one fucking match that she had? No. Yeah, I don't even, like, I don't even, I didn't even remember her being with Gail. I King. just remember her ridiculous ass taunt where she did her hands out thing. <laughs> and I remember I had one YouTube video where <laughs> no i mean while i was oh, reviewing okay. i was also uh, reviewing sure, sure, tna sure. on yes. youtube at the time yes but i nice. remember i did a thumbnail on a video where i took lady tapa's body and put my face on it because <laughs> i thought it was funny. her name was lady tapa yeah lady it's not lady it's not lady it's lady tapa lady. yeah, yeah. So the first match of the evening is Eric Young and Joseph Sparks versus the Bromans. Bro Bromans is, is, is. So backstage, Dixie Carter is talking to the Bromans. Yeah, she said, you understand the importance of this? And Robbie says, uh, we get it. You know, it's just a little intense, even for the Bromans. And she says, what? <laughs> Don't question me on this. She looks at Jess. He's going to do this. And Robbie says, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this, I'm counting on you. And Jess says, we're, we're good. We're good. So Dixie is, is talking to the Bromans about something, but we don't know what just yet. Jesse though, Jesse though, Jesse, Jesse though, though, Robbie Jesse though, though, Robbie though. <laughs> you are now in the mix with DJ Zima. She looks like a horse, bro. <laughs> Dude, I love this giving so fucking much. This is these are the goats, man. These yeah. are the tag team goats. I legitimately, to, me and me and Tony, like our group of friends at that time in 2014. Yeah. We're watching this like religiously. Like we were big yeah, into too. TNA. My, uh, me and my buddy Jericho would fucking slip would watch it too. We would all and we were fucking same probably the same exact shit. Jesse Dude. though. Jesse yeah, though. Jesse though. <laughs> Jesse though. Brr, 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 brr. We were super we did, into the program. We did Big Rob T join. Did you already join? Was he in? What's the deal with Rob? Rob I think Terry? he's already gone. Yeah, Rob Terry was the one before this, Tony. That and was the before Jesse, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. before Bromance. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was the list. 
Yeah, the list, the list is something crazy, legendary. Yeah. That was goaded. <laughs> so uh, DJ Z is their own personal DJ. <laughs> yeah, which he's got a is, DJ uh, set. The lights come down. There's a spotlight on him, and he's legit uh, just at the DJ booth. And He was Zima Ion, not DJ Z yet, though. Yeah, what Zima Ion, Andrew Everett's tag team partner. <laughs> they were tag teams <laughs> together. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what he is now. He's fucking... He's, oh, Joaquin Wilde. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. Joaquin yeah. Wilde. Yes. Joaquin Wilde. Yes. But we know him as DJ Z. Dude, that gimmick is way better than whatever the fuck he's doing in WWE. <laughs> I'm telling you, be DJ Z, bro. That shit was awesome. It was fucking awesome. And he says, uh, it's my honor to introduce the TNA World Tag Team Champions, two men whose physiques always test positive. For protein infused perfection, the burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Come on, man. These are the goats. This is legit. I love this shit, man. What a great fucking run this guy, these two had here. The bromans are the tag champs, and they're perfect heels, too. Like, they are. They're, 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 they're pieces of shit. Every fucking tag team they faced was always better than them. So, like, you always <laughs> wanted to see them lose. Yeah. And it was awesome. <laughs> DJ Z, super obnoxious. <laughs> burr, 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 during the every... whole, he does it during the match. Yeah, yeah? man. Yeah, super yeah. obnoxious. Uh, awesome. Eric Young and Joseph Parker team in here. Eric Young reminds me of a lot of uh, WWE's Daniel Bryan. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking weird. Why? He's a monster. <laughs> a monster. <laughs> I think he should win the title. Like when Daniel Bryan. Happen? It's coming up. It's, it's gotta be it? coming up, man. Yeah, it's like he the could, he's the one that he dethrones the reign of terror, I believe, for Magnus. What, EC three? Oh Magnus, uh, okay. I was gonna say. Because, yeah, right? because, coming because up. Daniel yeah, Bryan so. wins WrestleMania. And then this year, right? all yeah. of a sudden, <laughs> oh, Eric that's Young right. gets reminded how much he is also a monster. <laughs> a monster. He's reminded. <laughs> well, the match gets started here, and well, Eric Young locks up with a ref. <laughs> yeah, he does. Like, well, he's done that every match for <laughs> ever, since ever. So since yeah. he became Eric Young, and before he became Daniel Bryan, Tony. That's no, also true. <laughs> Uh, th during this match is where they announced that Kurt Angle has issued an open challenge in a steel cage <laughs> for tonight. I yes. said, what the this fuck reminds are me you a talking lot about? Of his feud with Ken Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> that we just watched as well. Well, they get the match started. They do nothing. And then on the Tron, Lady Tapa. No. <laughs> Lady Tapa. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he's saying. Lady <laughs> D Tapa. <laughs> Yeah, Can I say Lady Tapa. Yeah. <laughs> now that gimmick would have got her way over. It would have. Lady Tapa and Gail Not Kim. TNA, though. <laughs> no, unless <laughs> unless LA Knight was doing it first and then she just did it. It reminded it her. In, it would have yeah. worked in NWA. She should Lady also been a monster. A monster. Oh my. Lady Tapa and Gail Kim yeah. are attacking <laughs> ODB. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's uh, say bam of a champion. <laughs> so of course that is Eric Young's wife. Of course it is. Yeah, they're whooping her ass with a and choking her with a Singapore cane. You had to be reminded, of course, that Eric Young and ODB were the knockouts tag champs, and then they got married, uh, and then they're still doing that now. <laughs> and they got rid of those belts. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get rid <laughs> of those. Oh <laughs> yeah, I don't think they ever come back, do they? Well, Eric Young leaves to check on his wife with everybody saying, O, D, B. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just leaves the match. And then in the ring, Jesse uh, and Robbie start fucking up Joseph Park. Uh, Joseph Park, some might not, might not know this, by the way. Joseph Park is Abyss. Uh, no, that's his no. brother. No. Oh, sorry. No, that's his, his brother. brother. Uh, you, know, you know, my brother, Abyss. Abyss? Yeah, he's oh. always this tall. <laughs> he's always this tall. <laughs> Uh, you know, Jesse does a move to Abyss where he grabs him by his jacket and pushes him against the rope and then pushes his cock into his face. <laughs> I'm not sure what he was trying to do here. Yeah, so, he Joseph, so the gimmick, everybody, is that Joseph Parks doesn't know how to wrestle. He's not a wrestler. He's not a wrestler. He's just looking He's for his lawyer. brother. You know, Abyss. But I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Joseph Parks was actually a pretty entertaining part of this show for a while. Yes. Um, I, think, I think the general consensus at the time was that Joseph Parks is a fun gimmick. I it was will fun. say that it lasted a little too long and sure. a little too much sometimes. But yes. the general consensus was that this is a fun character. Yes, yeah, that's right. Um, so the bro hit the bro down. 
Whew. <laughs> Man, yeah, probably that, should have worked on that a little that more. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. What the, I, I thought we were, all right, we didn't like that. All right. I, I mean, I love the bromance. It's just uh, a little, little weak. That's little the weak. bro down right there, brother. It is the uh, bro down, brother. Yeah. Burr, 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 burr. And they win the match. Taz on commentary won't stop calling him DJ Ion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, brother. That's Whoops. not his name. My bad. Yeah, sorry, brother. I'll figure it out. So the bromance go to the outside, and for some reason, there is. One extra guardrail on top of the other guardrails here. That double layer that one. Well, they should, uh, as long as they would have zip tied these, you wouldn't be able to get it off, fucking asshole. Yeah, you guys really got to get a clue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they grab the guardrail and they put it in the ring. And as they are grabbing the guardrail, a fan like tries to stop them from grabbing the guardrail. She like puts her hand on it, tries yeah. to pull it back. She's and they playing didn't. for Joseph Parks. And uh, they go in the ring and they hit the bro down. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, the bro down is the fucking heart attack, by the way. Wah, yeah, no, wah, it's wah, the bro down. No, no, no. The bro dirty. down. Come on, guys. Dude, Dude, it never three looked tonight. good. This move sucks. Except for, except for <laughs> these two times they hit it right here. Bam, 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 bam. So they hit the bro Joseph down. Joseph Park is too big to take the bro down, bro. He just didn't. Bro, look that's good. what they said in the match, Tony. But you know what? The the bromance are so strong and so powerful, they were able to pick him up and hit him with it. <laughs> of course. Well, they have protein infused perfection. Burr, 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 oh, yeah, burr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they hit the bro down of Joseph's Parks on the garter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. True. So we go backstage. Dixie Carter is watching the match on a very small monitor. <laughs> She's not watching this fucking shit. She's watching Raw. <laughs> <laughs> no, nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. She's yeah, bro, fucking she watching the Raw. fucking She's bromance. See burr, what burr. Hogan's doing on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Samoa Joe comes in and tells Dixie that the boys will have AJ's back, and he hopes that she knows what that means. And she, yeah, she looks up from her chair watching the show and looks at Joe and says, are you threatening me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't threaten ladies, but this is me telling you that if you go out there tonight, I'm going to kill you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for right. real. Yeah. Not for real. So are you trying to scare me? Because like AJ, I made you and I could break you that fast. And if you, if I were you, Joe, I'd focus on my match tonight against my nephew. I won't tell you his name. It is my nephew. <laughs> Everyone should know who this is. And Joe says, your nephew. <laughs> well, hey, listen, <laughs> his blood is on your hands, not mine. Of course. Her nephew is Ethan Carter the Third, EC3. The NWA's champion. <laughs> Ethan Carter's the third. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, he was a big prospect, man. And they, they fucking, they do it, man. They get him to the tippy top. They give him the they belt. Do, he yeah. beats everybody forever. I feel like he was believable, at least in uh, Impact. Yeah. yeah, they built him up pretty well. He had a five-star match at NXT. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> With Lars <Lord> Sullivan. Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Joseph Parks gets checked on by the doctors during the break. Yes. He has a he concussion, could, guaranteed. He could be concussed, brother. By the way, just before this, they show a graphic for the AJ Magnus match. And the graphic says that tonight's match is a no DQ apostrophe S match. No DQs match, yeah. No, D it, no DQs what? No, no DQs. <laughs> Joseph Sparks is being checked on by the doctor. No, no disqualifications <laughs> what? God damn yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. No DQ.com. Yeah! Yes! Uh, so we go backstage. Eric Young has ODB and has taken her to the hospital because she is knocked out. And for some reason, no one else wanted to take her to the hospital. <laughs> no, they don't fuck with her like that, bro. Especially not Steve Borden. Steve not Borden mention, walks in. Hold on. You're, you're talking about e EY taking her to the hospital, not to mention the medical staff that was at Joseph Park. They couldn't have the same medical staff work on ODB also. <laughs> they, had to leave, they had to leave Tony to go they check on Joseph Parks. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. <laughs> Eric Young, what are you doing? <laughs> Here. That's my wife. <laughs> so yes, yeah, Steve Borden walks in as uh, Eric Young is carrying ODB out the door, and he says, "What happened?" And hey yo, is she good? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he says. Yeah, he says, "EY says I don't know. She's unconscious. I found her back there, dude." You watched it on the screen. Dude, that was a you long time ago, too. You know what happened. You know exactly what the fuck happened, dude. That was a long time ago. Like a real long time. Did it say ago. earlier today or we were supposed to take it as like this just happened? I think it just happened. Her ass is sitting happened, there. Yeah. Her ass is sitting there for a minute. That's for crazy. Whole, for the whole finish of the match and then the joke segment. And then the no DQs graphic. <laughs> so uh, my wife. <laughs> 
You want me to help your wife or your tag partner? You got to fucking pick your struggle, man. For real. All right, go on my You're not Daniel Bryan. Yeah, you won't. That's what he said. What? (laughs) What did you just say? (laughs) They looked at him and said, Worry about your wife. You're a monster. And he tapped into it. Uh, Oh, you look at this guy. Monster. Yes. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) You look at this guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. O D B. Yeah. So Sting, Sting says, "What the fuck is going on in <laughs> DNA, man?" That's not Sting. That's Steve Porter. Please get it right. Yeah, you're right. Well, the glasses haven't no come paint. off yet, so I don't know who it is. Could be anybody. That's, could be anybody. Could be Serge. Sting says, "Is this has got to be Dixie Carter's doing?" <laughs> and he runs out yelling, "Dixie!" <laughs> so now it's time for the James Storm and Gunner Town Hall. Why? Dude, this has got to be the worst team in TNA history. There's got there's a there's a lot of bad teams and this has got to be fucking right up this there. This is bro. up there all time. Him comparing this team to his other teams makes me fucking Makes me oh, fucking yeah. sick. <laughs> you fucking oh. bitch. <laughs> uh, so James Storm calls out his partner Gunner cuz Gunner. Gunner won the World Heavyweight Title Feaster Fire case. Gunner just retired by the way. You hear this? Have you seen this? Yeah, he he did, at the, yeah. the MAGA convention. <laughs> <laughs> he burned his boots. <laughs> Should have did that a long time ago, brother. <laughs> so James Storm, James Storm has Gunner out here, and Gunner, of course, no last name, just Gunner. Just James Gunner. Storm, Gunner, he's Gunner, Gunner, actually. Gunner, two, two first name, last name, Matt Gunner. Gunner. <laughs> So Storm says that, you know, the World Heavyweight title tears apart tag teams. It happened to AMW. It happened to Beer Money. Yes. And, of course, my third best tag team of James Storm and Gunner is going to happen third. again. He's got to add better ones, bro. Come on. You had no team with somebody else that's better than this, too. Well, Gunner says, yeah, you know what? You're right. And I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it destroy this team. <laughs> yeah, I want this fucking title. I want, I want this title. goddamn. I want this goddamn Feaser fired briefcase. <laughs> you ain't fucking winning, time. bitch. No I won way. the match. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, man. So last week, James Storm super kicked Gunner because Kurt Angle picked him <laughs> to team with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is fucking funny <laughs> as hell. Kurt Angle wanted to team with Gunner, so James Storm beat up Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> so Gunner says that I'm going to keep the Feaster fire briefcase. And then James Storm says, no, the fuck, you're not. He's like, what you're going to do is you're going to hang that briefcase back up and we're going to have another Feaster Fired match between us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? And then he extends his hand out. Gunner puts the briefcase down. He just shakes his hand. He says, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck? Why is he agreeing to this match? Tad said, a guy like me is not having that fucking match, I'll tell no you that. No fucking way. Why would you? I, like any the crowd, uh, crowd is also fucking very confused. One, they don't want to see James Storm versus Gunner in any capacity. <laughs> no way. Two, they don't want to watch an on a pole match again. They don't want to see another one of these matches with Gunner. Gunner's Especially. in this match, man. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, they are. They are. They, the, the reaction to this is so funny because he says, "You should hang it up there, and we'll do it again, one on one." And the crowd just said. All right. wah, wah. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess we'll get that match. I'm sure it's a banger. No. EC3 attacks Samoa Joe backstage. <laughs> yeah, it just it comes right around EC3 running up behind Joe and punching them in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> and we get Samoa Joe versus EC3. Yeah, they brawl into the stage and then come back from commercial and they're fighting down in the ring. Uh, bell rings. Joe throws EC3 in the ring and. And they start the fucking match. EC3 smashes Joe's face into the ring mat and yells out, Andy! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. TNA at this point is in like historic stages of having their guys do absolutely nothing to get to the angle. This is legit a means to an end, this match. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Which is crazy because Joe could have easily had a pretty good match with this guy, I imagine. Like if they get Joe him a, a at this point minutes. in t shirt is not having a good match with EC3 <laughs> Dude, on purpose. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right. Fuck this guy. I'm not re-signing here. AJ's leaving. Yeah, I'm not fucking helping you. Uh, So Rockstar Spud runs down. He holds Joe's leg. Get used to this. Yeah, Rockstar Spud's a big part of this show, by the way. Yeah. Joe then goes after Rockstar Spud. Legendary fucking heavyweight god (laughs) of wrestling is distracted by Rockstar Spud. Rockstar Spud is Drake Maverick, by the way. 
Those might know him oh, better. Oh, wow, WWE's he is. Drake Maverick. Yeah, wow. Drake wow. Maverick ricochet. Remember that? Yeah, he that. pumped his oh. pants when Big Show choked him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Rockstar Spud, by the way, turns face eventually. And yes, he's and it's super awesome. over. He feeds with EC3. It's very yeah, good, does, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 that's fun as hell, yeah. So Rockstar Spud holds Joe's leg. Joe goes after Spud. Then EC3 attacks Joe with a big-ass fucking wrench. Big red wrench, comic book style. Were you able to tell what it was right away, Tony? Could you figure it out right away? Because it took me a minute to realize think, it was a big I think ass it was a red replay. wrench. Was it a replay they showed and then I thought <laughs> yeah. that it was a wrench? Well, yeah. Tony, the best thing here is that no one knows what weapons anyone is using because they pick the most <laughs> random weapons. So <laughs> I have bullshit. to wait until Mike Tanay tells me what weapon it is. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> well, you see three hits him again with the fucking big ass wrench and then the, him and Spud go up the ramp and he says ah a little wrench in your plans you might as well twirl his fucking mustache too Dude, he said that all the fucking TNA guys are are getting Hokey. are leaving they're fucking yeah. leaving AJ's fucking leaving Joe's getting written off fucking Gunner is in an yeah. angle <laughs> Sting is fucking gone yeah, this yeah. is a rough era, man. It's like, Jared's holy gone. Shit. Yeah, dude. Jared this is, is rough. gone. Yeah, fuck. Damn. Hogan's gone, right, guys? Dude. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're spitting, brother. Yeah, so, they, so it's like they finally get rid of Hogan. Everyone said, you got to get rid of Hogan. So they do. And then everyone <laughs> they, just leaves. They leave too? Because yeah. Dixie doesn't want to pay him. Yeah. That's tough. It's, it's rough. sad. It is sad looking back on it. So we go backstage. JB is here with Kurt Angle. Ah, JB, Jeremy Warash. Kurt Angle is facing Bobby Roode at Genesis next week uh, on his free TV on Spike in a steel cage match. To prepare for this match, he is having another steel cage match here tonight. <laughs> yeah, he says anybody that gets in the ring with him tonight, he is going to only see Bobby Roode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> uh, back to you. <laughs> Joe is backstage getting checked on by the doctor that should have been checking on ODB. <laughs> Joseph Sparks. Yeah, has Joseph Sparks also been taken away? Did EY come back and carry him out as well? <laughs> so Joe's getting checked on, and he's screaming, and he says, you yeah, might hey! have a got, yeah. got a goddamn pot, 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 possible fracture of your patella, <laughs> honestly. And Just Joe said, no! no! I'm okay! I'm okay! My there patella! Can't a, there can't be a possible fracture of my There's patella, There's a probable bro. fracture of your patella. <laughs> no! <Dude>. My <laughs> leg! Well, Joe says, no, dude, I'm fine. And doctor says, no! We gotta go! Let's get out of here. Oh! The, the doctor... That that's uh, employed to help the talent at the show is about to leave to take Samoa Joe to the hospital. Dr. Who Pepper. is left? Dr. My Dr. Dr. Pepper? My patella. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no more doctors left. Uh, Joseph Parks might be dead. ODB is on her way to the hospital, and now Joe has a fractured patella. This is horrible. Pro probable for a fracture. <laughs> this a is fu we got to fucking. Honestly, is in your knee. And it gets even worse, James. Backstage EMTs are checking on the now dead James Storm and Gunner. <laughs> and Steve Borden finds them laid out on the floor with a broken whiskey bottle between them. Yeah, so he knows it's Dixie's fault, so Dixie! So so he did so, so he walks away. <laughs> he, he, turns her, he turns around. <laughs> Anyways, Dude, I see two people laying on the ground with a whiskey bottle little. Fuck, I'm out of here. Tony, <laughs> Tony, if I see Gunner on the ground, I'm doing that. I go, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm stopping, storm I'm up, stopping him out. <laughs> Call me and the boys out in the lot and you guys stomping out Gunner. Let's put the boots to him. I'm burning his boots on his feet. <laughs> where, where, where are all my AJ Styles boys at? We're beating up Gunner in the parking lot. Send a group right, text. Hit up the second screen experience and be like, anybody wants to beat up Gunner, he's in a parking lot. All the paramedics that are supposed to be helping other people are putting the boots to Gunner. It's like a 2K creator story or WWE fucking see, creator story. See, he goes to all the EMTs and he tells them, all right, here he is. And they start stomping him out. Dixie! <laughs> <laughs> she she walks in. This. I gotta go. <laughs> she walks in, starts putting the boots on Gunner. Also, <laughs> holy fuck! <laughs> All right, so Sting walks out of the room, and immediately in the parking lot finds Dixie Carter. It's well, like yes. one door. He walks through <laughs> one door, and Dixie's on the other oh, side. Hello. <laughs> did, you, did you also see that there was a random like either someone working there or a fan? Stage that hand. Yeah, he just merely runs off to the side. He sees Steve Borden coming. He immediately <laughs> stops and then sprints the other way. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Because he probably just attacked Gunner and James Storm, but we don't got to worry about that. He said, oh, I, thought, I got the second screen experience text. I thought we were stopping Gunner out. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Stig finds Dixie and says, you are killing the whole fucking <laughs> roster. You are ruining TNA. <laughs> what are what you are talking you? about? Wrestling is a dangerous sport. Steve says, Joseph, dude, as she says that, and that is a monumental line in pro wrestling history, is her saying that. Yeah, Steve says, Joseph Park's in the hospital. Eric Young took his wife to the hospital. Joe's getting an MRI. And I just saw Gunner and Storm knocked out. Coincidence? Samoa so Joe has a barbable refractor <laughs> with Patella. Joseph Parks is dead. Gunner is getting stomped out by the right Help! Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> And Steve says, I'm accusing you of taking things too far. Look at what you've become. You've become a monster! monster. monster. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, oh. man. Dick says, I will stop this when AJ's carted out of here. And then Are you stupid or dumb? <laughs> you want AJ Styles to leave the NA. She wants him dead, dude. This angle is it's even worse because you know it's a real contract. It's dispute. real, yeah. It's a real man. like they, they thought they were cooking and then AJ said, I'm fucking going I'm to Japan. Real leaving. I'm yeah. going to Japan, man. Golly. I'm about to change the business. Yeah, so I'm about I to literally go. shift yeah. everything. <laughs> and then Steve Borden takes off his glasses. Oh, yeah, there he is. It's Steve. That is Steve Borden confirmed. And he says, what happened to you? And Dixie says, what are you, Dr. Phil or something? Dude, what happened to you? <laughs> what, 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 what are you, fucking Dr. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you inside my head. I'm the boss, and I'm your boss, and you are a wrestler. And I have a suggestion for you tonight. You focus on your match, and you let me handle the casualties. The casualties? <laughs> yeah, Gunner, dead. Gunner's dead. <laughs> well, Steve says, you think you're putting me in a wrestling match is going to stop me from doing what I got to do? And Dixie says, it might not. But there's something else too. Now get out of my face. And then she walks away. <laughs> get out of my face and then I'll leave. <laughs> this was an era where they wanted to make her Stephanie McMahon so bad. So fucking bad. But nobody so was bad. calling her a trash bag hoe. So it should have been out there calling her a trash a bag single hoe. Slut chant for no <laughs> yeah. reason. What the hell? What is this? <laughs> And it's so funny because like she gets like no comeuppance ever until she finally does. In Stephanie eight months. <laughs> Stephanie was getting come up as every other week. <laughs> Dude, yeah. she was, someone was ducking a move and she was getting hit by it every by other week. week. Yeah. <laughs> and pay per view. Don't even get me started. Oh my god! Don't even. Yeah. Don't even. <laughs> so Kurt Angle cage open challenge. He's so sweaty. Kurt Angle comes out and he gets in the cage. <laughs> Bobby Roode then makes his entrance with full gear and robe. The song, this song is awesome. Yeah, Roode is, this is him. This is the guy right here. This like, is him, for real. Roode uh, is just here to hype up the cage match for next week. He, Seven he, days! He, <laughs> he feigns, of course, that he's going to wrestle Kurt tonight, uh, but he doesn't. And then he yes. instead says you will face bad influence. Oh, shit, Daniels and Kazarian. Oh, my God! <laughs> I love this. This is a, this is a fun run. I like this. That fucking apple martini joy was cool too. Was that a Hogan thing? Might have been, Tony. <laughs> Hogan era. Did thing. you like it, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> well, then yes, it was, dude. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> but did James like it? Oh, then maybe not, brother. Oh, maybe not, dude. Uh, so we have Bad Influence versus Kurt Angle in a two-on-one handicap match in a steel cage. This shit sucks. <laughs> dude, again, they are just doing nothing and then just get to the angle type shit. It's legit just, yeah, like, they the heat, heat, heat on Kurt. They fucking throw him into the cage. They crotch him on top rope on his yam bag, brother. Uh, <laughs> they throw him into the cage some more. Kurt gets a comeback uh, with a bunch of German suplexes. I yeah, mean, they suplex, were trying, suplex, like, suplex. suplex, counter suplex, duck, more suplexes, belly to belly, uh, heat, heat, heat. And then fucking, it was like, yeah, like James says, it's legit just to get to the end of the match. There's no real fucking point. There's not, they're not trying to like really even put on a good entertaining show at this point. But the finish was cool. Kazarian tries to it climb. Cool. Kurt follows him up, release German suplexes him. He moonsaults onto Christopher Daniels. Kurt then grabs Daniels and throws him as hard as he can into the steel cage. <laughs> <laughs> no, into the ropes. He fucking yeah, nails the fucking rope. Kills like, him, yeah. Holy. And then he hits the Olympic slam on Kazarian and he wins the match. Well, James, sadly, we're in 2014 uh, TNA, and Mike Tanay calls it the Angle Slam. Damn. <laughs> Even that has changed. Well, Kurt at least hits a, yeah, after yeah. the match. <laughs> There's just a little one. There's a little, yeah. I swear I just saw a clip of him doing that, like, recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did, with beard. 
Yeah. It was crazy though. He goes, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not grandpa. <laughs> it's not, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so backstage, Dixie is talking on the phone to someone and tells them to leave the fucking cage up. Yeah, leave, leave the cage up. It says, do you even speak English? Leave the cage up, comprende. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. All right, well, damn. I mean, who Gotta the get fuck a little is, heat ski, bro. Yeah, well, well, the heat backstage. I bet no one's even watching this on a monitor. <laughs> <laughs> so Bobby so Roode comes live. in. <laughs> Bobby Roode comes in, and Dixie says, <laughs> Yo. So you, you ready for that cage match you got? <laughs> What? Re- 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 what the fuck are you talking yeah, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean with Kurt? Yeah, you know, like, yeah, you know, I was going to go in there with Kurt, but Kaz and Daniels got it. It's not really necessary. And Nick says, Bobby, it's not against Kurt. Bobby says, what? Against who? He says, Sting. Sting. <laughs> what? what? Sting. <laughs> in a cage? What? <laughs> Daisy says, come on, man. You got it. Look, take care of business. I got you be covered. A, be a team player tonight. I need you to take care of business. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Yeah, Bobby said, oh, you got me covered. In a cage. With Sting. She said, I need you. Very important, Bobby. Focus. Dude, there is so much fucking Dixie Carter on this show. It's unbelievable. Ugh. Has there how many segments has it been so far with her? One There like hasn't been a backstage without her at least mentioned or on screen. Yeah, you're right, man. That's this it. Is fucking unbelievable. It's too much Dixie Carter. And when she's not on screen, they're talking about her because her fucking cronies are attacking people. They would do like two at most Stephanie backstages. And then if she had something in the ring, it's, it's for the pop. They would get the right. pop backstage. There's Stephanie. We'll get the pop in the ring. And if there's something we have to set up for next week backstage, we'll do it there yes. too. The difference also is she had nuclear heat. Dixie Carter, they don't want to fucking see her. They just don't like her. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, Let's you go blue away. TNA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Blue TNA, ow. <laughs> yeah, speaking of backstage segment, Kurt Angle was in the parking lot taking a picture with some fans. Yes. And uh, OVW's Al Snow <laughs> pulls up in a car. Dude, he's a legendary OVW star. He All says, right. we got to go to the airport. It's an emergency. <laughs> I got your clothes in the back. You touch my fucking clothes. <laughs> Steal my shit. Stinky little hands on my clothes, you freak. You smell my underwears. Get the fuck out of here. So Kurt jumps in, they leave. He and apparently, Al. Well, yeah, well, he's a legend. They have to go pitch this fucking series of Netflix, the whole thing. We need a, <laughs> years. They need a name there, all right? So Kurt, get in the car. We got to get out of here. But I wasn't in OVW. <laughs> I don't care. We'll just tell him you were. <laughs> By the way, yeah, also and Kurt just drive off. So Kurt also dealt with so joseph parks odb eric young gunner fucking james storm kurt angle all gone now and now we have bobby Roode versus sting in a cage you know <laughs> you know <laughs> oh, yeah, oh shit oh shit oh, I'm, in. I'm, I'm listening i'm listening i might be very stupid here and please correct me if i am yeah, yeah. oh sorry uh, you weren't that was the part, yeah so. well you know maybe in a minute <laughs> But just doing an unannounced Sting versus Bobby Roode in a cage. No advertisement whatsoever. Correct. Two cage matches in a row. That's right. Mm-hmm. This has got to be fucking insane. <laughs> it is. Well, you know, they, they can't advertise this because they got to advertise that Dixie Carter is going to be on the show. It's the right? angle. It's and the angle. Yeah, the I mean, angles. yeah, I mean, who's staying really drawing here? That's like, it's so funny because when you look <laughs> back at it, dude, like at the time, stayed, that's how they looked at Sting. They were that like, is. Sting was just he another guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, anything we do with Sting now is just, we just kind of have Sting. He's just still here. Right. And Bobby Roode, his run was over. So it was like, you know, we'll just kind of do whatever with Bobby right now. Yeah, like this is a pay-per-view match. It could have been a pay-per-view made, match. Could have made money on it. It was. Yeah. And yeah. Sting, uh, Scorpion Death dropped himself into a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Scorpion Death drop and Sting fucking concussing himself on the chair to lose the match. That was so is, based. It is unbelievably it was based. So based. It is so, Dude, so good. It is so sick. Bobby Roode's TNA World Title Run. All the way to the end when Austin Aries beats him is one yes. of my favorite runs. I'm not kidding. I'm, no, I'm not no hyperbole Legendary. here. It's one of my favorite runs ever. And we love, I like, listen, and don't get me, twi- don't get it twisted. We fucking love TNA, but genuinely, genuinely, even look at if it was anywhere, it's a fucking awesome run. He's a great top guy heel champion. Dude, yeah. James Storm 
The, the whole James Storm thing was awesome. It led it to was. the BFG blow off where they beat the shit out of each other. Killed each other. Awesome fucking... Bobby Roode could not fucking miss. Bobby Roode just couldn't fucking miss. No, no he, way. No he way. went he all the way as a champion. Yeah. Became the longest reigning champion, which honestly, looking back on it, wasn't even that long, but at the time no. for DNA, it was long. They changed that belt a lot. Yeah, and and Bobby Roode's match with Austin Aries were like, no one thought Aries was going to beat Roode that night. No one thought it. Not at all, dude, but it was so hot, and people wanted it, and it was, an, it was like one of those cases where, because, you know, there's a lot of instances in TNA where they do not strike more than the iron is fucking hot. Samoa Joe no. is an unbelievable example of that. Uh, so fucking Aries getting the belt off of Roode at Roode's peak, Aries' peak, it was fucking incredible. Option C was still. I still don't know how I feel about that. They could have just said either. they could have just had him win like a. You get a shot of the title, then he has both titles, and then he like just loses right. it and puts somebody over. Because it definitely puts the exhibition title in a weird spot. It makes it look stupid. I yeah, still think it makes it look yeah. stupid. Yeah, I think they still yeah. do it today. It doesn't make they any do. sense. They do. Yeah, I, I don't know if I agree with that. Like if you like, it's different if you have a title that is like right from the rip for that is yes. for that yes. kind of thing. Yes. Like the, the Lucha Underground one, where it's like this title... Gift of the will, gods, yes. Yeah, will get you to the main title. Okay. But to take a title that made like half the roster... Yeah. And then being like, yeah, you could just kind of give it to me and we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> and, it doesn't, and I really actually don't even care that I'm not this champion anymore because I want this other belt. And, and there's no, it's not like it's like a TV title where there's like a 10 minute time limit. It's no. like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm trading in this championship where all my matches are on TV and like there are only sure. 10 minute time limits. And yes. like that makes sense too. They were like, no, this is, there's no limits ever. And <laughs> you can just have right. it. <laughs> it's yeah. like, uh, I don't want this anymore. So yeah, this shit stinks. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, yeah. I don't yeah, know how that, I feel. I go back and forth on it quite a lot. I think the uh, James the first time they did it, I was like, "That is cool," because it was different. But I think after that, I was like, "Oh, I don't like this," because yeah. now this is forever. This yeah. what this belt is. Yeah, right, yeah. right. All right. So cage match with Sting. Bobby Roode bumps for Sting. Just the whole match. Yes. Sting reverses the TKO into the Scorpion Deathlock. EC3 and Spud run down here. God damn Again. it. Fuck. God damn it. EC3 distracts Sting and the ref. Spud throws Rude a baton. <laughs> Mr. Rude, Mr. Rude, sir. <laughs> for some reason, the ref had to be distracted for Rude to cheat in this cage dude, match. Thank you. Still cage. To, so, yes, dude, I was trying to figure out why the fuck they did this, but I guess it's just, oh, it's just good heat, brother. Rude then hits Sting with the baton, and then Rude <laughs> wins by leaving the cage. He fucking, he's super, you know, he does WWE chair shots with his stomach, back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a nice worker, man. You know what I mean? He's yeah, gonna, yeah Rude doesn't nice. pin him or anything. He just walks out, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> it's even better. So Ken Anderson is here at the I'm Dobbs I'm funeral. I'm <laughs> Anderson, <laughs> Anderson. Anderson. He has he to says, end things with Bully Ray. He says, Bully wants to lay this to rest. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Yeah, okay. What? Uh, maybe I'm surely missing something. I'm sure maybe maybe even you know James. Why is the Dobbs family funeral home significant here? And why the fuck is Bully Ray hanging out here? And why did Mr. <laughs> Anderson know he was hanging out here? It's the Aces and Aids funeral home. Is that what it's it where, is? Where they yeah, uh, Aces and Aids were laid there. You know they they had okay. their little funeral yeah. thing. Yeah. So it, sure. If you don't remember, Mr. Anderson killed Aces and Aids, and that's what we're leaving Dude, here. I, I, Tony, I swear the entire Aces and Eights run, I always was like, Mr. Anderson's just a mole and he's going to turn on this team. And then eventually he just becomes like just a f fucking full fledged member of the group and it's normal. He scratches his head. Fuck? Yeah. He's <laughs> so what the fuck? Yeah. Weird as hell. Yeah. So last Thursday, Bully Ray kicked Joseph Sparks' ass <laughs> and then <laughs> sprayed him with a lighter fluid and he was going to fucking kill him. He was going to kill him. <laughs> He was going to set him on fire in the ring. He was emotionless. He had a hoodie on and glasses. Glasses hoodie. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, he's soaking him there. And then Mr. Anderson, Anderson, uh, comes out to make the save. And he slides into the ring and Bully Ray, almost comedically, <laughs> starts spraying him in the face and chest with the lighter fu fluid. Mr. Anderson starts backing up. He's going... <laughs> like, the crowd's like, like what the fuck <laughs> like you came to make the save and then bully ray yeah. immediately just sprays him with the lighter fluid too he's, and then he holds up a lighter towards him and he's I, gonna I'm kill assuming, ken anderson with the lighter too i'm guessing he didn't do it no he did not kill ken anderson because he's no, still here he's right here ken anderson right here. it could have been a shitty lighter but we are here at the dobbs funeral home ken Based. anderson walks into the casket room and 
if you can believe it, in the very back pew <laughs> is Bully Ray hoodie sunglasses on. <laughs> Just yeah, sitting there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mr. Ezra walks in, he snaps and points. He says, I see you sitting there. <laughs> it's, yeah, Bully Ray hoodie. He says, you asked for it. You got it. Come on, man. Let's finish this. Come on. He's threatening to... He wants to fight him in the fucking funeral home. Well, he was going to kill him and put him in the fucking coffin. <laughs> he should have. <laughs> Dude, he awesome. looks... The the cut here to Bully Ray sitting in the back pew is the funniest is, shot ever. It is so <laughs> He's so far away. He looks like a little kid. <laughs> so Bully says if he wanted to finish this fucking feud with Ken Anderson, he would have just killed him last week and set him on fire. <laughs> and Joseph Sparks. And I'll kill Joseph Sparks for real. <laughs> <laughs> Someone might have tonight. Who knows? <laughs> he could be dead. I'm not too sure. Well, Bully has a lighter on, and he tells Canaries if he gets any closer, he'll pull out his gun. He's got a gun in his hand. He definitely. He just says, "You might see what I have in my other hand, and that might smell familiar." <laughs> it's his penis. <laughs> He's pulling his gun out. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna set my cock on fire if you get any fucking close. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Oh yeah, it's lighter fluid. That's what you mean. It's lighter fluid. My bad. Oh, my bad. oh, I see. Yeah. Um. Well, Bully says that Ken Anderson <laughs> took everything away from him, <laughs> which is <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking of pulling the camera bang over and he pulls out his cock. <laughs> you know, and dogs for the one. Pulling his glasses off. Fuck around the pussy. pussy. That's who he looks like. <laughs> he looks like the fucker in the pussy shot. Holy shit, he does. Oh my fucking god. He looks like the fucker in the pussy shot. Sure thing. Holy shit! Holy shit! Wow! I'm around the pussy. Oh my god! Uh, here's Bully Ray. He oh, get the tables. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude! Wow! Oh, my. oh that's wow. awesome. Bully that Ray is fucking is... right the pussy oh, guy, man. That is so so crazy. Wow! Oh my god! Yeah, damn. So, Bully Ray, That's incredible. he says oh. that Ken Anderson took everything away from him, which of course is yes. the aces and eights. And pussy. And he took his gub chewies tape. <laughs> you son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> You're just like triple H. <laughs> so Bully wants his loneliness to encompass his life. Bully says he cook. All right. Well, he says some crazy shit. He says, you he took, does, yeah, we're yeah, going to be, we're gonna be nice it. about it. But yeah, he says yeah. some crazy shit here. Bully says that he took the colors off his back and he put it in that coffin right there. Right behind. I see that coffin right there. <laughs> <laughs> coffin. <laughs> coffin. You see it? It's here in the coffin. And he put something in there for him. So well, Ken that, Anderson turns that's around. That's not a coffin. That's definitely a casket. But that's fine. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, turn around. <laughs> Ken Anderson checks the coffin. He grabs something. He turns around, and Bully Ray is not there anymore. He okay, just kind of fell down. And he disappears. Yeah. <laughs> down there. He's laying on the floor. <laughs> EMTs are getting to him now. What, is, what did he grab here? What is this? Oh, I think he was holding blankets or like baby blankets or something like that. I thought it looked like I thought it was two robes, but I two don't know. Throws for him and Bully Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me right in the pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude, right. I, did, did he just have a boy and a girl or something then too? And you think that's what it is for his like? Anderson's Anderson kids. probably just have kids or something. I think I don't, I don't know. Maybe I like the I, idea that it was bathrobes for them too, and that's how yeah. they're gonna we're going on they're gonna settle this going issue. Have a vacation together. Yeah, we're gonna it's have gonna a, be awesome. We're gonna have a jerk off. <laughs> He's right, going to have a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> and some smells familiar. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so we go backstage after that. Dixie Carter is here and Sting is pissed. Is this the same phone you had, you said? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is this the same phone you said you had? Uh, what? Let me see. <laughs> His little pink phone? No, the Dixie phone. Oh, no, 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 there, no. Yeah. Dixie's phone sucks. My phone was a beast. <laughs> I was texting dudes crazy in class with that bitch. People probably don't know nowadays about the push-up fucking... What's it like? The no. sidekick, kind of. It was like it a, rip, a keyboard. It was like a rip-off sidekick, yeah. So I yeah. could like, yeah. push that bitch up and text the hell out of some people. That shit was know. awesome. And it weighed 40 pounds. Hell yeah, bro. And, but that shit was never going to break. You know, I could throw it across no, the it room. <laughs> you probably yeah. did. Yeah, guaranteed. Well, Tixie Carter is here, and Sting is pissed about what just happened. 
this is Sting. This is not Steve Borden anymore. This is Sting, full face paint, shirt, sweaty. And Dixie Carter wants to have sex with Sting. Okay, that's also what I... I got that either she wants to, or it is implied that they have already been fucking. You know... Which I don't remember <sighs> that being her thing, but this also l- lends credence to you saying she is Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> she fucks Sting. Flirting. I don't care. Like <laughs> Stephanie or Dixie? No, Dixie. Oh. <laughs> WWE fucks Sting. Yeah, that's also yeah. true. Yeah, Dixie fucks Sting. Well, she said <laughs> confirmed. Well, Tony <laughs> saw it on Beyond the Impact. <laughs> yeah, you saw on the Impact. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Dixie says, "You know what time of year it is, Steve?" She's now calling him Steve. It's not the holiday season. It's contract season. And isn't it like you know every year same time? I go to renew your contract that fast, and I sweeten it every time. And Sting says, "You think your filthy money can buy me?" Sting says, "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on." And you she's know. like touching his face and his arms and his just. She fucks Sting. Rubbing. I don't care. Like I'm yeah, just saying, I mean, like not, it is I, what I, it is. I, I know they fucked. I know they did. She says, "We've Bruce always been Pritchard close. told me." <laughs> oh, he would not lie. <laughs> You're right, Tony. He's a truth, truth teller. He's a truth teller. Yeah, he's a truth teller. Yeah, hundred <laughs> oh, percent. Yeah, Dixie my. says we've always been close, and everyone knows that. Do we fucking know that? Do I know that? I guess yes. I know that. Do, All right. I, uh, everyone's been saying this. Well, she says, uh, you know, you got a very important decision to make. Please make the right one. I've got to go powder my nose. She's doing, so she's fucking she's Sting and she's ready. doing coke. She's getting ready to fuck Sting. That's what that means. She's got to hit the bathroom real quick and then they can have sex. I know she's fucking Sting. Well, that's pretty sweet. You could cut the sexual tension in this room with a knife. I was, yeah, that, I was She like, ain't like I, this with nobody else on the show I except for Sting. I definitely, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe there's parts that I don't remember, but I definitely did not remember her flirting with other people on the show. No, not at all. I, I do, I, like, I remember, like, there was, like, this big thing going on at the time that, like, Dixie was fucking Sting. <laughs> Wait for real? <laughs> yeah, there was like this. Like I remember. Oh like, wow! Yeah, okay, like, really? Yeah, there was like this video where like she was talking to Sting and like. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, fucking get the fucking penis explosion! I'm sorry. But I saw it. Fucking shit. I saw the video beyond the impact. I saw it. <laughs> fucking get this fucking guy, Tony. <laughs> Uh, I love oh, you, Tony. I, was so, I love I was you, Tony. So, and if you damn. ever want me to sweeten the contract deal for you, brother, I'll come over oh, and I'll do it for every you. Every year, nope. right away. Yeah, my every year. <laughs> James will powder his nose. Right yeah, now. I got you. <laughs> I promise that, buddy. Dude, I think James is fucking Tony. That's what I'm thinking right <laughs> I, now. I, 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 you know, if people would say that. All right, so now it's time for AJ Styles versus Magnus, real world oh, championship my. on the line. Uh, no DQs. No DQs match. in this one, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> uh, so they, uh, they both did their entrances. Uh, JB is in the ring with both, doing the intros. And behind JB in the crowd is a fan holding up a an XFL He Hate Me jersey. <laughs> number <laughs> three. Was, dude, number th- three. Oh, I was so fucking happy about that. So JB does the intros. JB's got the Memphis haircut. Dude, he's there. This is crazy. <laughs> She's just nuts, bro. Uh, Earl Hebner holds up both belts, and he is struggling for his life because he has to hold them for some reason the long way. They're so heavy. <laughs> yeah, he, why is he holding them like that? Just fucking fold them up. Why have to hold <laughs> They're just them too like heavy. Yeah, he's out. I, I don't know. Just fucking go. <laughs> Hurry up. Now it is time for, and we've like you can tell we have watched an unbelievable amount of TNA. I don't know if it's crazy to say that this is the most overbooked finish in TNA history. Which is nuts to think about because it, yeah, there's, probably there's now a you lot. Say that, yeah, there's a lot, right? But T- I don't TNA know if, definitely has a history yes. of overbooking the mains. Yes, I don't know if there's ever been a match with this much shit in it. In this TNA. wasn't this. This actually, there was so much shit, there was no actual match. I forgot. You're right. There's I forgot no as match. it was going on, James, that it was even a match. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just a brawl segment or something. Yeah, I thought it was getting thrown out because there's so much bullshit going on. But yeah, it is a match the whole way through. Yeah, man. Uh, so, you know, as I'm watching this, I, I, I remember back ago, ah, I think Magnus like respects AJ or something. Oh, yes, that's right. You were saying this. Okay. Yeah, I, was like, oh, I, I think Magnus like respects AJ or something. So they'll be good. Like this match will probably be all right. AJ, AJ can carry this guy to whatever. Spud and EC3 run down and attack AJ after Magnus spends minutes running away. 
dude, it's legit a couple minutes into the match and they come out and fucking, they just get into the ring and jump AJ because it's a no disqualifications is his match. Sure. AJ, <laughs> AJ kicks both their asses immediately and then goes to hit the Styles Clash on Magnus. But EC3 attacks him back. And they, him and Spud just start jumping AJ again until Sting. Sting runs down. He's friends with AJ. He comes and makes a save. He starts punching EC3 and Spud until Magnus gets in the ring. And we go to commercial with Sting and AJ in the ring with Magnus, EC3, and Spud on the outside powdering. Okay. I was like, commercial break. We're good. Reset. We can yes. start the actual match yes. now. Right. No. The bromans are here to attack AJ. <laughs> Out of commercial! <laughs> they waited commercial. for the commercial. They waited for the reset. And now the bromans are here to attack AJ. <laughs> bromans with DJZ come to the ring. They jump Sting on the floor. EC3 and Robbie are fucking up AJ in the ring. DJZ hits a tornado DDT on fucking AJ that gets a two count. DJZ tornado DDT with the pants sagging <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that might be a first. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Magnus covers AJ. AJ, uh, Earl is very hesitant. Earl Hebner is very hesitant to count because he knows this is a bunch of fucking bullshit. And he gets, he, he slow counts, only a two count. Well, Sting makes the save again. Not after the bro man's hit the bro down. Oh, the bro <laughs> down. Uh, <laughs> which is one of my favorite moves. No, uh, no. But, but, here's, but here's what I'm thinking. Sting makes a save. We're, da we're, we're down again. We're reset. I said, we got, we got a match now. Like, okay, that's yeah. a lot. But we got a match. How many more people could there fucking be? They got everybody out here. This is fine. This has got to be the match. No, bad influence are here, <laughs> and now they attack AJ. <laughs> that is that is fucking insane. Springboard double axe handle from Kazarian, by the way. <laughs> to cut him off? Yeah. So bad what influence hit a move on AJ. The powerbomb neckbreaker powerbomb combo. <laughs> and Magnus goes for the pin, but Earl hesitates the count again. And then Earl says, fuck this match. Fuck I'm not counting shit. Yeah, and he looks at all too. of them. Fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. And he leaves. He, yeah, he pushes Kazarian. He leaves the ring. He shoves Rockstar Spud over, which is like the biggest pop of the night. And then as Earl is going up the ramp, uh, Dixie, Dixie fucking Carter is here because we haven't seen enough of Dixie goddamn Carter on this show. She comes down and she is dragging by the collar. Earl Hebner's son, Brian Hebner, the referee. Dixie looks at Earl in the face as she's holding baby Hebner by his fucking shirt. Hey, what are you doing, I'm fucking hey, my son? He doesn't belong here. No, 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 no. He walks he's away. Like, he's, yeah, James, he's legit arguing with her for a second. You don't belong out here. And then immediately snaps, I don't care. <laughs> I'm leaving. Walks, yeah, he walks out. In the ring, bad influence are hitting the fucking total elimination on AJ. <laughs> So AJ kicks out at two of the total elimination. Sting yes. then hits double scorpion death drops on the bromans on the floor on the outside. On the floor. Sting puts the death lock on EC3. <laughs> Sting is kicking everyone's fucking ass right now. Yes. So AJ then helps and, and deals with bad influence with Sting. Then AJ sends DJZ flying over the Holy turnbuckle shit. post, <laughs> nailing a camera guy on the floor. Up and over, kills the camera guy, and then Magnus runs in and gets put into the calf killer. So AJ, here we go, AJ calf killer, he's gonna get him. Here comes fucking Kazarian, grind line to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The, the bad influence now stomp out the new referee and throw him out of the ring. Holy. Which is the old referee's son. <laughs> So Kaz monkey flips AJ, but he lands on his feet and he hits Daniels with a clothesline and then he Pele kicks Kazarian. Dude, that was an that should be a some a team's tag move. Monkey flip into Larry. That was awesome. Buckshot something. Buckshot. Yeah, Larry. yeah, that's Probably, awesome. Yeah, they could do it. Yeah. So AJ hits the Styles Clash on Magnus, but there's Here no referee. Go. I said this Fuck. has got to be fucking it. Earl Hebner runs back down to count. He so goes red. He is fucking. He is blown up crazy. He's so he runs down, he takes a minute, he gets in the ring, he starts counting, and then Bad Influence pulls Earl Fuck. back out. I go, there's no Fuck. way. So Bad Influence have Earl Hebner outside. AJ just watched an ACH match. He said, I'm on my way out. I have to see who I'm facing. ACH is one of the guys. I'm doing the step up tope. He's doing the space, man. He saw Chuck Taylor almost break his leg on fucking bowling with it. He's this shit this is crazy. I've he never over Earl. I've never seen AJ do a bad tope until now. This shit looked like it was shit. Yeah. It legit 
looks like he did it for the first time, and I actually don't think he ever does it again. No way, that's a dangerous ass move. It's scary as yeah, Chuck Taylor almost died <sighs> doing it. So AJ on the top rope now after he clears the house. Things killed everybody else. AJ just took out everybody. There's fucking yes. all that's left is AJ going for the spiral tap because AJ has been using the spiral tap more. He remembered how to right. use it. <laughs> Good. But Rude, no, Bobby no, Rude no, runs no, down no, and no. then pushes AJ on the top rope. God damn it. And then Rude starts finisher spamming. Dude, he hits him. It's a. It's not even like bam, bam, bam. He loads him up. What, what is this move? Any is this? This isn't the pay dirt, is it? No, pay dirt's the like flatliner jumping. D- oh, okay. What the fuck is this move? This is like a TKO where he lands on the other side. Yeah, it's like a. It's an attitude adjustment neck breaker. Yeah, it's, he I don't hits understand. it multiple times. Takes his shirt off multiple times. Yeah. He- <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude he like takes his time with it loads him up again and again i think it's three times he had some with it right yeah, yeah and the yeah. crowd is chained for kurt angle but he had to go help ovw get that netflix deal <laughs> <laughs> and he succeeded him tickets. yeah he did eventually he got him uh so rude goes to hit the tko one more time and he does and then <sighs> magnus pins aj and baby hebner counts to three with dixie on the apron Dixie brings out a new referee as well. Oh, was Dixie it Baby out, Hebner? Dude, Dixie brings out a brand new referee. I didn't even Bri- notice, dude. Brian Stifler. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stifler! <laughs> the goat! We love Bri- Stifler. So this is the second referee that Dixie brings out. Wow. Brian Stifler. Is, she's on the apron, as you said. Referee counts. All the heels are holding Sting on the floor. Magnus gets, Magnus gets the three. And gets the win. He is the undisputed TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, this killed TNA for Tony. Tony, not he stops watching. It this was did. It. it did. I caught yeah, things it's... here and there, but I never sat down to watch a full episode ever again. Probably Damn. until like uh, Broken yeah. Hardy. Sure. Tony, I'm sure that the idea here was, we'll screw AJ, we'll re-sign him, we'll run it back, we'll figure it out. And I'm sure the idea was, if we overbook this, it protects AJ. Obviously, the match was a complete amount of bullshit. Yes. And like having Magnus just beat AJ tonight doesn't do anything for us if AJ resigns because he just right. straight mm-hmm. up beat AJ. And we have the whole roster and it's story stuff, which they were sure. TNA was obsessed with the we have to do story stuff. And they point. were heating they wanted to heat up Team Dixie. Yeah. So I get the idea here. Right. But holy <laughs> shit, dude. This was crazy. I like the, the pageantry of it really, uh, you know, looking at it from a distance is crazy. It's insane looking, dude. It's like, like I said, we've watched so much TNA and I, I don't, I, I don't even know if I consider this an LOL TNA thing. I'm sure some people do. It's just, it's, it's almost above that. It's almost in its own fucking hemisphere. I don't think, I don't think it's how ridiculous. TNA. Yeah, I, cause I guess little TNA stuff is just more no, like no, backstage I, fucking Well, bullshit. first off, yeah. they were low TNA and for nothing. So like the, there was low TNA and then there right. was like. Uh, you know, TNA, bullshit. let's make fun of it because we can. Right. Yeah. Some shit didn't deserve it. You're right. But yeah, this is insane. Well, AJ, I, I guess like I would have rather this happened because like now that somehow I forgot this until we watched it. Uh-huh. And, but yeah, like yeah. I would have never in a million years remembered a Magnus versus AJ single. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> no fucking does way. It, unless no Magnus way, no took way. unless Magnus took like a fucking Styles clash to the floor. The hollow point off the top. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. not remembering this match. So no like fucking way. them doing this, I I guess I can understand it. And it made for a, f- I was fucking laughing my ass off the whole match. Dude. Is that I, what they were going for with me laughing no, my ass off? Dude. I don't know. But, you know, I digress. I, I definitely agree. And I will remember this forever. Because <laughs> this is insane. Sting getting I, held back by the whole roster is nuts. <laughs> It, they, and this, it takes the whole roster to hold him back. Is he, I don't know what's even funnier. Yeah, um, but yeah. So the show ends with Magnus getting held, uh, handed both titles. They celebrate with Dixie. He gives Dixie one of the titles to wear, and he poses in the corner. And that's the end of the episode. AJ leaving TNA changed wrestling forever. What I mean, yeah. Look at all yeah, the things you can link to him going to somewhere, right? No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel yeah. like, you know, looking back, I've never really retrospected about AJ leaving. Sure. You know, he just left and he was really successful when he left and he had a lot of good yeah, runs. Yeah. You know, his ROH stuff was really fun. Not that he, like, blew the world away and he was ROH shit, but it was fun. And then yeah. his New Japan run, obviously, is the one that people remember quite a bit. 
Um, and then, of course, WWE when he came in the uh, Royal Rumble, and then yes. they didn't get the camera <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're missing the biggest one, James. That really shifted uh, a lot of people was his first round bowler match. <laughs> oh, Kurt Hawkins, the As good IWGP champion. Uh, uh, yeah, the worst <laughs> PWG match ever. <laughs> oh, no. I love me some Never Brian forget. Myers, but that is legendary fucking bola opener. <laughs> Dude, the boards were still popping a little bit back then, too. Dude, yeah. Yeah, that man, Kurt Hawk has <laughs> never got out of that. He's lucky he's still around and it kind of washed off, but he fucking, that was it for him for a minute, yeah, man. Yeah, that Especially cool. back then, like, you went to PWG and had a stinker, you're done. You might as well just wrap it up yeah. at that point, man. Because it didn't happen often. There wasn't many people that people didn't go, oh, that was at least good and I'd like to see them again. It nah, that was often. it, bro. That was yeah. GG, man. That's, that's a tough one, bro. Yeah, that is that's fucking a tough brutal. one. But yeah, this was a, a, a crazy, crazy time. Not how well, I would expect it, AJ to have gone away, but uh, it's hey, necessary it evil. Cool. He yeah, thought it was yeah, sweet, yeah. you know, like the entire roster beat him up. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's probably out, a fun way to, yeah, he's probably, you know, goodbye to the boys, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. beat me up. It's like in Japan yeah. when someone retires, they do like a battle royal where everyone on the roster gets to, up. gets to face them for one minute. Yeah, he gets oh, a one minute match with them. That's awesome. Yeah, I like Blood that. in, blood out. <laughs> well, usually, I mean, no, <laughs> they're, they're yeah. pretty, usually pretty nice about it. And they, oh, okay. Some of them, they'll just shake his hand and leave. And Oh, fair enough. Yo, it's me, Kid Kingpin, on the mic this time instead of AI. And I'm here to give a shout out to my lovely supporters on Patreon. And I want to first shout out the person who supports me at the highest tier in my Patreon, the lone member, and that is Z, who is at the $10 Big Money Tanay tier. And if you're wondering what are the other tiers, it's the, uh, the $5 Freight Train level tier and the uh, regular $3 oh damn shorty okay <laughs> okay tier uh, what do the uh, $5 and $10 tiers get you? Uh, nothing <laughs> nothing but my extra love for your extra support thank you thank you very much thank you Z and uh, let's get on to the other $3 tier members Kicking things off with Peanut Monster, S. Milm, Nigel McGinnis is concussed, dude, or maybe he isn't, brother. Eric Ward, Torch Crawler, who is Chase Bell, Tony Davis, Mark Aminos, RVD's Nuts, Traffic Cohen, Ghost Patrol, William Powell, Too High to Die 81, Snacks the Man, Vlad, Kenyon Wilder, Jamie, Deadlock Town Hall Committee member, Dick, The Hammer, Dick, and Yeah Man 156. Thank you all for subbing up to my Patreon. I can't thank you enough, man. It's, the support is wild. You are all awesome, and I love you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. <laughs> 